guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this washer and dryer using the kit. The kit can be found under my Etsy shop. And um, it's a pretty cool kit because the doors actually work and you can stuff like your little laundry and stuff in there. Or your pretend laundry. And it's 112 scale. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to take your kit and you need to make sure you got all your pieces in line so you know what you're working with. And I like to use a combination of Loctite Crazy Glue and I like to use Wood Glue Max or Elmer's Wood Glue Max. Titan Wood Glue is also good. So, you know, between that and the other one, that's all fine, whichever you choose. Now, these little things here are just wall decor. They don't really mean anything. They were just wasted space. And I thought, well, we'll just add a little added decoration to your house. So you can paint them and do whatever you want with them. Hang them up. Just kind of gives you something to put on the wall. Now, this here is also wall decor. You can paint those and you can hang them up. However, there's a little trick to this. To hang them up, to get them to go the way that they need to be, you will need to do a little bit of drilling. So, to start with that, since that's one of the harder parts, is I've got a little drill bit that I got from Harbor Freight. And you just hold that together. Don't mind my dirty fingers it's from the laser. And go very slowly. And there you go. You're right through. Don't drill your finger in the process. And then you just repeat that process through the rest of it. Then you take some jewelry wire, which is what I've done, and you just feed it through. It just goes right through there, and then you have it where they're hanging. One of these I did too. There you go. And then there you go. You have hanging socks. You can paint them and do whatever you want with them. I just fed it through there, then I fed it through the holes that are on the bottom of the sign, turned around and twisty tied it in a knot on the back, and then did the same thing. That's all it is to doing that. That's super simple, um, other than the drilling part, which you just need to be careful not to get your fingers. Okay. So, for the next part of this kit is we have to finish doing the rest of it. Okay, so this is the second half. And on that, you're going to have another sign that is going to be exactly the same thing. Only this one has, like, little outfits that hang off of it. And when you're drilling through it, you're going to do the same thing. But be extra cautious when you're going through the jumpers. And they'll look like this. And then that's how that's going to turn out with those the same way. Now you have some boards, and if you notice, they're two sizes. So you should have them all facing the same exact way. And then in here, you have two sizes two small, and then a wider one. The wider one is the back. So, the very first step to putting this kit together is to put some glue right along this edge. Alright, once you have the glue, you want to line it up right even here and here. Now, I'm going to use my helper tool to make sure that I stay at the bottom edge.
I'm just going to square it up. And let it set for a minute to set up. Okay, so now you want to look at your boards that you have for the middle. And you want to see how that is right like that. You need it to be even like that. So, take your boards that you have and line them up right along the edge in the bottom. I am doing two sides. I'm going to put a piece of masking tape right here on that to kind of hold it in place until it sets up completely. That's the first one. Now you want to do the top. Double check again to make sure you have it in line. Again, make sure everything is in line and let it set up. Okay, now that you have that done, we need to start assembling the face. Alright? To do that, we have to get the hinges started. So, this is kind of like the other ones that we've done. You're just going to put it around the edge with the glue. And then let it sit in there. Try not to do too much like I just did, but this glue is kind of like leaking out now because I had to unclog it. Now you're going to do the same thing and do that there. Make sure it doesn't glue itself to the table. Repeat that process for this one. Okay, now keep in mind you need to have the holes facing upward in case you didn't realize that because I didn't mention it. Okay, so that's your fronts. That's how they're going to be. Now, you need to drill a hole inside of here. Take your time and let the drill bit do the work. You're not going all the way to the other side because you're going to flip it over. And then you're going to do a drill there. Same way with this one. Okay, now you're going to take your acrylic that you have 
And you're gonna be very careful doing this next step because if not, you're gonna end up with acrylic having um, crazy glue on it. I'd tell you to leave the paper on until after you glue it, but the problem I had with that is my finger kept getting stuck to the paper. So that didn't work out for me. If you have a better way of doing it with the paper on, then great. I hope it works better that way, but for me it didn't work. Okay, so you want to just make sure they fit because the bevel side goes in. Now, just go ahead and put just a tiny bit of crazy glue right along that inside edge and just kind of roll it around a little bit with your lid like that so it's good and covered. Don't glue it to the table. And if you do too much, it does come through, so be careful. All right, I'm going to lean that up against that. I'm going to peel this one off and do the same thing. Okay, so it should look like that. Now, this one's got a little bit of sawdust on it from when I drilled that, so that'll come off when we let it set up and dry. Now, we're going to leave that alone for the minute. Actually, let me move them over here and let them dry and cure. And then we're going to come back to doing this part. Now... We're going to go ahead and glue this on to the side here. should be just like that and then we can tape it as well if we need to do it to hold it up a little bit okay now that that's taped and that's set up you have three of these that are for the face the one without writing without any writing at all goes on the very bottom so you're just going to put a tiny bit of glue right there and then you're going to align that evenly. Now you can turn it up and you can just kind of push it down to the ground if that makes it easier to you to keep track of if it's even. But make sure the sides are even. So you can either use your fingers and feel it or you can use this little tool that gives you that flat edge to make sure it's even. Now you're going to do the same thing with the top. I like my dryer on top. So that's where I put the dryer numbers. That's the one with the 60 on it. Oop, almost put it on upside down. Once you've done that, then you need to take your doors and you need to line them up. Just to double check, make sure everything fits, and then there you have that. Now you want to put just a tiny bit of glue, not too much to where it over does it on this. just a little bit we're gonna take one off and we're gonna line that up right there
Now, this is the part that's on the inside. Now that you have that there, now you can take your center piece And you're going to line that up right above that. Just slide it straight down in there. make sure right now you want to go ahead and put some crazy glue or wood glue whatever it is you're using right along that edge and then this should be on the bottom right and we're going to set that in there just like that and line it up you're going to repeat that process on the bottom here And then you're going to line that up. Now, I like to push this up just even with the top, same way with this one here, and leave a gap here. And that's how I created it, because there's always a little spacing in there where the bottom seam seams goes right into there so that you can remove it. So that's how that's done. Now, for the doors, they should fit right in between here. And you've already pre-drilled your holes. So I'm just using some stick pens, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it inside the bag because these things always fly. I just cut a small piece off. And then you just want to slide that down in that hole. And then you're going to slide it into the hole that you drilled. You will need some pliers to do this because it's just too small of a space to try and get your fingers in there. It's definitely teeny tiny it's like playing operation when you're trying to do this on camera because you're going against the grain <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn it up I'm going against the law of gravity here Okay, I don't know why this one was giving me such a hard time getting it in there, so I just went ahead and decided to use a larger head pen or stick pen. And I'm pushing it down in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off right there. definitely was giving me havoc there. The other one I did did not do that. So, we decided to avoid it all together. See, that's how it should go in. It should go in really easy. So maybe I just didn't have it drilled enough. And I'm just pushing the head pen in there. Or stick pen, rather. Now, I am cutting these off 
just like that at the bottom and it won't go nowhere it's like literally not going to come off of there but this one I'll go ahead and press that down a little bit more once I'm done and I'll just use a pair of pliers and I'll just push it in there you know but I have to go upstairs and get the other one because I'm going to squeeze it together so it goes down all right and then I'm going to do the same thing to this one I think the problem is, is I'm trying to do it left of me instead of on my right, but surgery And then that's it so for painting it I use the paint markers that I've used for the other things and I use chalk paint for the exterior so it would be flat now if you want to add 3d knobs to yours there are two round little pieces in there that you can glue on there however I don't recommend you gluing them on there until after you paint it. So we're not going to glue it on there for this tutorial because I still would need to paint this. But you would just put a dab of glue and then glue it right where those circles are. And then that's it. That's all it is to this tutorial. Hopefully you like this and if you want to purchase this as a kit, you're more than welcome to visit my shop and check it out. And there's lots of other things there as well. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. You could do multiples and make yourself a laundromat as well. But paint it, not paint it. Alright, well thanks for watching and I will see you next time.